I'm Sacramento Love, and the Xbox Live Enforcement team responded to my last video where I basically ranted about them. Therefore, enforcement is free to keep banning this account. It doesn't matter. We're trying to do good on Xbox. After I uploaded that video, they gave me an account ban until the 18th. I logged in today and I saw it said 18, and I was like, the fuck is going on? I'm pretty sure I'm banned until the 5th. So I logged into the enforcement page and they banned me after I made that video. And this isn't like the last situation because I didn't appeal it. The ban was almost over and appealing doesn't do shit anyway. So after I uploaded that video, someone at Xbox enforcement was like, Oh, this Sacramento Love guy is at it again, doing my job, making my job easier. Better ban him because he hurt my feelings in that video. Of course, the enforcement page didn't tell me what I did. Why? Because they wouldn't give me a reason saying, you made a video about us so take this L. And it completely adds on to being innocent, because I was already banned on this account. So besides the previous video, I wasn't even logged into this account. But you went ahead and banned it because you're douchebags. You don't like it when people make fun of you. And you can't do shit about it because the enforcement team is this secret cult that lives in an isolated tribe no human contact whatsoever. So you decide to ban them instead because you can't come out and say, I work for enforcement, stop ranting about us. Looks like the account ban is active until the 18th. Which they anticipated my next move because in that last video, I said I will find another hacker or scammer on this account and make another video on the 5th. So I guess we'll postpone until the 18th and do this on another account in the meantime. But like, I really don't get it. I am getting evidence for you. I'm going into these games and finding cheaters and scammers and you decide that I deserve the ban. I had people tell me that I inspired them to stop cheating and hacking the game because I helped them realize that it ruins the fun for other players. I literally helped the Xbox servers by turning these cheaters away. I'm the one that gets up at 1 in the morning to find these interesting characters, as I like to call them, to put them on YouTube to let other players know, oh, this guy boots people offline and hacks the game. That's his gamer tag. You'll know not to play with him and help the boys at enforcement by reporting them, even though reporting doesn't really do shit. Like, seriously, I really don't get it. If you don't want people to create an unsafe space over Xbox Live, then get rid of your hypocritical code of conduct and community standards. It's either you don't care, or you put those things up to entice people into buying an Xbox, which is probably gonna get banned wrongfully, so... What the fuck? So many times I said, hey, if enforcement wanted to hire me, I would have accepted. I would be in that office banning people with the evidence I had. I would investigate false suspensions because you say it's not an automated system, which is almost true, but you have a fucking robot in your office. Sure, it's not real, but there's no way an actual human being sees a player did nothing wrong and decides to ban them anyway. People spend their hard-earned money buying consoles and support the online service by buying games, etc. They put their time and effort into the account and you take it away because you're too lazy to see if a ban is wrongful. You see, your staff may hate this job, that's on them. They should look for another job if they hate it. You have players who don't even work for you, who catch the idiots on Xbox, but you ban them for doing your jobs. I instead, you'd be making an investment by attempting to hire the people who love gaming and want to be part of a good cause. I don't work for Xbox. I never did. Yet somehow, I easily find people that deserve to be banned or at least temporarily suspended, to show them that what they do is not allowed. You know, I was a little kid when I got my first Xbox in 2009. I saved every penny to buy a used Xbox 360 on eBay. And eventually, I joined Xbox Live in August of 2009, playing the shit out of World at War. It's 2023. Most of my childhood friends moved on from Xbox. I'm still here. Coming to, what, 14 years? 14 years of my life dedicated to Xbox, never switched to PlayStation, yet you do this to your own players. The people that fund your company, basically. The people who take your code of conduct seriously and help get rid of the toxic player base. Thanks for the ban. But considering you didn't tell me what I did, I can't learn my lesson. Because the way I see it, I did nothing wrong, so I'll continue to moderate the Xbox service at my own expense, unfortunately. Then you can go back to doing whatever the fuck this is. And that's all I have to say, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out, and goodbye.